Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about another case study, gel electrophoresis troubleshooting, but it also can be PCR troubleshooting. So when you see some artifacts like this smear on your gel, it's not necessarily a problem with your gel electrophoresis, how you run it, but sometimes it can be due to some mistakes you made during PCR. So here's a question. I really need help with my PCR. The picture of my gel is attached. I'm sure that I have no problems with my RNA extraction. What can these smears be due to? First of all, for those people who sent me their gels, it would be nice if you also would include your ladder, positive negative control, so the whole picture of your gel electrophoresis and not just a part of it. It would be much easier to analyze. First of all, of course, you cannot do direct uh, RNA PCR. First, you have to make uh, cDNA from it or copy DNA using reverse transcriptase. My first advice would be to clean your comp before you use it because comp can be very often a source of the contamination, what we see here. And another explanation of what we see here can be that during PCR, because primers were poorly designed, you actually got primer dimers. For those people who don't know what primer dimers are, so imagine that this is one primer, here's another primer. Of course, each primer has um, three prime end, and five prime end. And this one also would have three prime end here and five prime end here. So here with the blue color, I show hydrogen bonding, poorly designed primers may anneal and during PCR cycle, actually tag polymerase may extend each strand here and we are going to get double stranded DNA which in the next cycle, so also is going to have five prime end here, for example, for the top, three prime end here, for the bottom, and again, they would have some type of homology at the three prime ends, so three prime end here, for another DNA strand, five prime end here, and again, tag polymerase, would extend one strand to here, so they're going to be three prime and here, and another strand, tag polymerase would extend up to here, and we are going to get three prime and here. So as you see, with each cycle, we are going to get a whole range of the sizes, and we are going to get a smear like this. So my final advices would be try adding good positive control, negative control, reduce the concentration of primers, clean up gel electrophoresis equipment, don't forget about comp, and also include size ladder, and hopefully next time you're not going to see smearing like this. And this is all for today, subscribe and see you in the next video, goodbye.